Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. In the last episode, we met Kiara, and wait, why do I feel so strange? Ah, that's right. This is back in time. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being stupid and say, yeah, last episode. Uh, Tiara died, we went back in time and found Tiara, and then now we're going through the pass again. So gracious. Here we are, Crevice Cave. There's a fury deep within, and I have no doubt we'll run into Ethel again. If both those things happen, you'll have to believe us, right? What do you think, Kiwi? Kiwi! 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 Believe it. As far as I'm concerned, your suspicious levels are maxed. You won't sway me with such minor details. This is what Kiwi said. Don't start. Are you her translator now? Sit. Sit. Was it so dark in here last time? Oh yeah, it was so dark. I was complaining about how dark it was in here. I didn't know- wait. Oh wait, never mind. I forgot that Kiwi doesn't really have a gender. And Kiwi's is asexual. I think. I don't know. No, you're not taking me. I ain't playing your games. But this isn't the one with the trap. It was the lava place that had the trap. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I did. We're supposed to be in the past, so why were they different? Yeah, that is pretty weird. Let's make sure to ask her when we run into her up here. Yeah, sure, was just ask, hey, why is your outfit different? Maybe this is a completely different timeline. Maybe we'll learn something about this whole time travel thing while we're at it. We might not even be in our same timeline. We may not have went back to the past. We may have went, went to a different timeline completely. And you didn't make the first impression real good this time, Fang. Probably even worse than last. Nope! Not catching me. Not wasting my time. Just realized I can't really grind in those hard areas that I was getting all my XP for, which is the freaking really low amount of party members. I'd have to choke back my anger with uh, Sherman to even probably be successful with those again. But that's not happening now. So I probably won't have much to really do for grinding. Wanna know why? Cause there's no damn way I'm gonna level up at this point. You know how much enemies I gotta kill in low level areas? Look how much XP it takes right there. I'm just gonna like literally do nothing. All right. What? I found a fury. I'm sure to get a nice bonus now. The hell are you doing here? Bonuses are great, but I want to fight. You're so timid. You run from every fight. If I don't get a little exercise, I'm gonna get that. Hmm. The clever have no need for swords. Kill. Huh? Yeah. Hello. This is Ethel, and I'm her fairy partner, Karin. Now that Ethel has spotted you, I'm sorry to tell you that you will have to die. <laughs> ah, here we go. My time to shine. Oh my, you seem like a perfectly ordinary office worker, but you've brought along a most extreme woman. How indecent. What do you want me to do? I didn't choose my fairy. I get all kinds of judgmental stares from strangers thanks to her, not to mention my wife and kids. You say that, but be honest, you wouldn't give it up for anything, would you? 
kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, dirty kill. Oh. Uh, she definitely does not like this. I agree. Let us dispatch this dirty old man post haste. I knew we'd find you here, Ethel. And you. Um, who are you again? Dang, I don't think this is the best time. I should ask you that. Oh, well. Anyway, Ethel, I have a question for you. Huh? Now's my chance. What? Are you running away? I thought this was finally my chance to fight. <sighs> now we really messed kill, up. Kill, kill, kill. My prey ran off thanks to you assholes. How are you going to make this up to me? Is what she said. Damn. This is bad, isn't it? She is absolutely livid. Kill! Dang it, Ethel. Can we just not do this? I don't want to fight you. I'd rather we be friends, honestly. Maybe you could join the party. Replace the dude Sherman. He's not joining back in this party anyway. And I hope he's dead this time. Or if I find him, let me kill him. No need for abuse. Did you just spin for no reason? No reason to pull out the sight. Okay, just go to sleep for now. Now, let us be friends. As usual, she just attacked for no reason. Come on, Fang. Now's the perfect time to ask her. Oh, right. Hey, Ethel. Why are you wearing that outfit? <sighs> oh, it's super cute, right? I picked it out for her. I'm trying to get Ethel more interested in the feminine side of life. I'm pretty sure that's just more revealing and the last one she wore was better. Huh. That explains the bunny ears, I guess. But man, you gotta have real courage to wear something like that. True. It basically screams, here I am, notice me! I mean, man, you couldn't pay me enough to wear something like that. Fang, now you're just I being rude say, again. I admire your courage. Well, actually, hmm... I guess this works. Dang, it's rude to treat her like some kind of pitiful child. Although, I could never wear something like that either. She's right. You're being very rude. Not that I would ever wear that kind of thing myself. Quiet women. Kill. Oh, that's an embarrassed one. Emma, please, come back. Ethel is not some pitiful child. Well, I guess our meeting ended up the same way as before. I don't think I'll ever understand her. No matter how many times we run into each other. Dang it, can't we just get to know each other better? Come on! It's all I want. So, are you finally starting to believe us? She's gonna need a little bit more. Fury, just like we said. And we ran into Ethel, too. Still, I can't trust you. Perhaps you obtained information about the Fury beforehand. And as for Ethel... Maybe you conspired with her before as well. Most importantly, you said nothing about the other fencer that showed up. You're so suspicious. What do I have to gain from trying to trick you like this? If anything, I only stand to lose here. But it's true that Pyga was unexpected. When we went to Carvise Cave before, we only saw Ethel. True. And now that I think about it, the Fury was different too. But maybe the soul planes and Crevice K theories were different because I already have them. That would make sense. 
If I took your story at face value, perhaps that would imply some sort of time paradox? Time paradox? You say you possess the theories that were supposedly at the Soul Plains in Corvise Cave, correct? One could hypothesize that perhaps that is a starting point, which has influenced later events. So we gotta go back through all the other places, get those furies, and we're gonna be even stronger than before, because we have even more furies than should be possible. Yeah, actually that is true. Fang would have even more furies than possible in the entirety of this world. If Fang ha you get all the furies that are in this world, Fang will have, I think, five or six more than anyone is supposed to have. Is that how that works? Come on, don't worry about the details. Let's just keep pushing forward. We're definitely gonna prove that our story's true next chance we get. Let's go! On to the Yonagon Lava Flows! Oops, didn't mean to go here. Let's go back. I'm not crying. Wait, what was she crying about? Wow, when I look at your eyes up close, they're really red and bloodshot. Tiara must be really important to you. I wasn't crying. Nothing can make me cry. Stop trying to make the others think I'm soft. I never said anything about crying. You spilled that, you s yeah, you spilled that all on your own. Oh my, just barging into my room, are we? Stalkers are awfully scary. You're still calling me that? You need to let that go already. A lady must take all necessary precautions against the many dangers awaiting her, especially a lady as lovely as myself. Ugh, quit it. I don't care to read your bowl. Nothing new has popped up. Some quests I just can't do because some enemies don't exist. I'll definitely have this game platinum long after I beat the game because this game is going to be a long platinum. Okay, where is my XP1 stab? It's going to play the same cutscene. We've arrived at the Yadagon Lava Flows. With us so far, Tiara, the three of us travel to the Yadagon Lava Flows in our timeline. This is my favorite place because of the music. All you gotta do is keep your mouth shut and follow me. You'll see for yourself if I really know what's gonna happen here. Just don't fall in the you trap again. With confidence. Of course, because it's a fact. What could I possibly gain by trying to trick a useless woman like you? Man, why do I have to do something so stupid in the first place? Once you realize I'm telling the truth, you should apologize and become my slave for making me go through all this trouble. Oh my! What a horrible thing to say! And yet, why does my heart flutter so? No matter how many times we meet her, she's always gonna be like this. Anyway, if you insist, I guess I can just stay back and observe. Work hard, you two. She's so unpleasant. Let's do it. Oh no, you ain't catching me. Not this time. I know my stick. I know all of my stuff. Ah, oh, crap, the items. You know, I'm still thinking about what I want to do after I finish the first route. Am I going to immediately move on to the next, or do, like, maybe go through a bit of, like, Tokyo Xanadu EX? I don't know. Hold up. Given some food because people have not finished it, but I think it. I never expected Fane to be so powerful. 
I'll mute as I eat here. It's gonna sound a lot worse eating with this thing. What do you think? Are you starting to believe us now? True. You seem to know your way around this place. But that hardly proves anything. There are many ways to obtain information. I'm sorry, I just have to note that. What is it? Oh yeah, it's toast. Why am I so dumb? I haven't had toast with some jelly in like years. I think since I was eight. I'm 17 years old. It's been a long time. You really don't trust people. Oh well, just keep watching. We're almost at the theory. You'll see for yourself once we get there. to you what's about to happen. Are you sure you remember, Fang? Don't tease me. I obviously remember. First, I'm gonna pull out the Fury. When I do that, the lava's gonna be all ROAR and start overflowing into this place. Ancient ruins like this often have lots of traps. That's right. And then, what happens again? Maybe you should get your story straight. This rock over here is actually the control device. Once you activate it, the lava will stop flowing. And after that, the boss will show up. If everything we just said happens, then you'll have to believe us. Right, Tiara? I believe that would be so. It is common for ancient ruins to contain traps. But you two seem far too ignorant to actually study such subjects. Therefore, unless you actually experienced it firsthand, you wouldn't possess such precise information. Oh boy. Everything you just said is pissing me off, but I'm just gonna let it slide. All right, let's yank it out. <gasps> the lava is really blowing. I'm going to activate the control device. Ha! It stopped. See, we really were telling the truth. Yes, though I am curious what sort of trick you utilized to make this possible. Uh, jeez! You still don't believe us? This woman will not believe a single thing we say until we just die. <laughs> no time to argue. Looks like the boss just showed up. I shall assist you as well. Good. You just shut up and watch. Let's go, Aaron. Yeah! Oh, well. Guess she's not gonna fight alongside us. Let's do this. Oh, that's not good. What is this nonsense? Excuse me. Uh, I should use this. Actually, they're probably going to destroy me if I ain't careful. Hate it when they pull out those real strong attacks out of nowhere. Really annoying. Alright, now this time. I know they're fire, and I know this is going to be defensed, but hey, still strong. Ow. Transform! Alright. Oh, I think I'm good. You're gonna have to try again. Keep going. Don't you know you suck? Let's do this. Executing. 
Wait, what is the name of this thing? Ah. Mm-hmm. Nice try, buddy. But you're dead. It was. Nothing to it. Since we knew what was gonna happen, this was so much easier than the last time we were here. Actually, I don't think I was close to almost dying, and Tiara was helping. You get it now, Tiara? You've traveled with us before. We're the only ones who were sent back to the past to meet you. I also know some other things about you. So you have no choice but to accept it. It seems that is the case. Looks like she finally believes us. How strange. There is no doubt that I am meeting you two for the first time. And yet you both know so much about me. I have never even heard of anyone using a fairy's power to travel through time. I guess I'm just that amazing. Remember that lava trap? You were the one who actually found the trap's control device and disarmed it. You also taught me that ancient ruins have lots of traps. It is true that I know these things, and I would have no trouble locating the control device for that sort of lava trap. We owe you our thanks, Tiara. We had to rely on you for a lot, you know? Even though your snide comments really piss me off. We know a lot about you, Tiara, including things we wish we didn't know. Just think of us as friends who've traveled together for a long time. You don't need to keep anything from us. Well, actually, there are some things she could stand to hold back. Hmm? Let's just go back to the inn for now. I'm sure this is a lot for you to process. Oh, it's rare to see you acting so considerate, Fang. Idiot. I'm so considerate that I give myself ulcers. <laughs> you don't look stressed at all. things what what the crap just clicked did someone just take a picture are there cameras here <sighs> I'm also wondering if this has hit the split point or not hmm. I can't sleep <laughs> Save. This is definitely going to depend on the ending I get, I'm sure, because I know there are multiple character endings. Ah, crap, you gotta make me freaking do this again. This is why I was very happy that the, um, that Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R had fixed that, so if a character was a you already had stuff on them, and then they weren't in the party anymore. Or even, you know, even a back backup member. Their stuff still wouldn't change. Anyway, let's talk with Aaron. Aaron, how do you think Tiara's handling all this? She seemed really confused when we were at the Yadagun Lava Flows. Well, that makes sense. I mean, anyone would be confused by the story we told her. I still can't believe we got sent back to the past. Yeah, but as soon as we ran into Tiara again, everything that happened afterward was exactly the same as in our time. Earlier, Tiara asked me about what happened in the future. She wanted to know why she wasn't sent back to the past like we were. What did you tell her? There's no way I could tell her that she died, so I just brushed it off. I don't know how long that's gonna work, though. That's really all you can do. Tiara died because I couldn't protect her. I won't let that happen again. No one wants to find out they're going to die. That's why we don't need to tell her about the future. That's true. You must care about Tiara a lot, huh? This isn't just about her, though. I met Apollonius' little sister in our time. Her name was Emily. Emily? Yeah. She was journeying to avenge her brother's death. Someone that young should care more about having fun than vengeance. She put her life on hold just so she could get revenge. And I couldn't even tell her that I was the one who killed her brother. 
Yeah. It feels so much more personal. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's personal because I just look like Fane. But yeah, if he had brown eyes, yeah, he'd fit the picture of me with bed head. I didn't want Emily to hate me. I was scared. It's not your fault. You had no choice. I ain't killing him this time. And you did his sister a kindness by not telling her that you killed her brother. And to be honest, it doesn't feel that way. The only thing that would make her feel any better is if she killed me. You're wrong. Even my enemies have families and friends they care about. But I chose to ignore that. I was too weak and scared to accept that they were people too, just like me. Bang. I've only ever seen my opponents as faceless enemies, nothing else. But I'm not going to do that anymore. But sometimes you can't advance unless you defeat your enemies. What are you going to do about that? It's simple. I just gotta convince them to join my side. My controller died in shock. It's like, whoa, Fang. Ooh, what's going on? You're so serious and wow. <laughs> That's what my controller died from. Are you serious? It'll be easy with my charming charisma. Galdo's a perfect example. He practically fell in love with me after I beat him. First, I'll just show my enemies how strong I am. Then, I'll offer my hand to them instead of killing them outright. Okay, I hope we don't have to do that for Zank. I don't want Zank. I want Zank dead, okay? And Sherman, let's try to avoid that guy. Maybe I'll say a cool one-liner like, Use that life I've spared to fight by my side. If I stand there and look cool, I'm sure they'll wag their tails and gladly join me. No, Galdo was just a special case, so... It's the perfect solution! We'll have a greater chance of saving Tiara, and we'll have more people to help revive the goddess. Fang's got it right. So are we going to say that we're going to change all the enemies we killed? Probably not all. But I guess I'd like to not definitely not kill Apollonius. Out of all of them, there's a good reason to not do that. So what do you think? Am I a genius or what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you idiot! You're such an optimist! <laughs> oh, never mind. You really are a genius! Which is it? Am I an idiot or a genius? Make up your damn mind! <laughs> Aren't they basically the same thing? You're way too amused about this. Sorry, sorry. All joking aside, you really are amazing! I've honestly never thought about it like that before. It's incredibly reckless, but I think if anyone can pull it off, you can. So, you finally accepted how amazing I am, huh? Have you fallen in love with me? Yes, actually. Oh. 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 What the? Why did you say yes? That's not like you at all. Well... It seems like this has happened. If my answer was gonna freak you out, you shouldn't have asked in the first place. I'm not freaking out! <laughs> You're freaking out, Fang. And this is why, this kind of one thing is, I like Aaron, and also, going for a different route would be weird because Aaron would kind of be there the whole time, so... Yeah, I know that. I knew you wanted to protect Tiara, but I didn't expect you to change who you are, too. If you're that kind of fencer, I'll always be with you. I'll be right by your side while we fight together. I promise. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, this scene's gonna play out again. I don't care what happens to me. Just spare. I kind of want to just skip most of this. Shut up! If you keep laughing, I'll keep. Just gonna skip parts of it, see what changes. Who the hell are you? Yeah, then there's Sherman. Would you like to know about me, my name, my way of life, or perhaps. Uh huh. Didn't you say that last time too? Jeez, completely slaughtered them this time. 
didn't pay no mind. Thank you very much for saving us. Thank you, 